Hello. Can you guys hear me? What's the sound volumes like? I've had to tweak them a little bit. This is what Orchard Farm will look like on release. Yeah, there's the new. Uh, let's put it against something here. It's a little bit laggy today. I think it's just because I'm streaming. So, uh, thanks to Lancey Boy for doing a little tutorial on the old uh, cutting and making the background of the map look a bit better. Yeah, it does look a bit better. Yeah, this is where you start off. Yeah, you start off with that. The chickens are at the main farmhouse as well. Oh, it must be about three weeks since I last streamed. Feels like starting again. So there you go, there's a better view of the uh, PDA, just in case you couldn't really see it. So that's how it looks now. Uh, map should be along two weeks, well two weeks I'm submitting it to Giants and then obviously Giants being Giants they they ain't going to be happy with me as they normally ain't and then I'll end up uh, in a minute. and then they'll want to uh, cause me problems and stuff like that probably just like they did in Penn Berlin but uh hey wow well. so hopefully three weeks you should have the map and i have made a console version if there's any console players watching right now but there's a giants don't make that easy for modders to do <coughs> uh, all the shaders are different like uh consoles don't read dds files which is pretty much what everything in a map is apparently they only read dx t1 and 5 files So, uh, we've got these standard ones. The only things that might change is um, Dorsets, fertilizer tanks, and the prefab section of Mod Hub. I'll probably rip these out and put them in. Well, this one here anyway. The one over in the cow farm actually kind of suits it, but you'll see that in a bit. So, we got this. Oh, did I sort the XML files out? Yes, I did. So, you got your lights in here. <laughs> Spanners everywhere. So, uh, this setup, if you want to use course play, the lanes ain't really designed for that, but we've got a nice little drive through area there. Got access to field 6 here, there is another gate out the other section as well. So, once I've shown you this yard, I'll go over to the shop and then work from left to right on the PDA. That's alright, NHF. I, I'm trying to get this one on console. Hopefully. Now, a lot of people were saying when they seen like Landy's videos and everything like that, these sheds, these sheds were oversized. Which I didn't actually uh, really realise and pay too much attention. Like, I, cr I built these myself. I just had the frames and then just put everything together into them. And I didn't really realise the scale I was working on, so uh, I've actually lowered them down a bit now, so they're not... You know, they're still big sheds, but the walls on them aren't up there. There you got your workshop here. You can customise your tractors and equipment or whatever in the actual yard. So, uh, plenty of storage. I definitely recommend these bunkers for, like, sugar beet. Stuff like that, you know. I'm gonna buy bigger combines and have like 12 combines. Plenty of room for it. This shed here, it's not accessible. Other side you tip. This side you fill up. I haven't got markers on, but there is a marker that goes there. So, uh, 
Yeah. Going to the end of the farm lane. What's that? Oh, it's the jet in the distance. If I've seen a car. So there's your arable farm entrance. Some of your starting equipment. Me being a massive Fent fan, so you got a 900 and a 300. I didn't want to give anything too big after the 900. But this is my favourite tractor in game. So. I always prefer the 724 with a front loader on. I don't know why. This looks very good. Well, in my opinion, anyway. 724, gorgeous tractor. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect all rounder. <laughs> uh, there's just a couple of things I want to change in the settings there because I'm going to be jumping in and out. Uh, it's going to do my editing. So, you got your wall cell point here. And then I'll put in question mark help points up here. There you got that. I might try and level that out and redo that. The egg cell point here. And you can get rid of your hay and straw here. But me personally, I'll get them the stables, especially after the work I put into the stables. I uh, changed out the old FS11 concrete walls, and you've actually got proper textured walls in here now. That's floating a little bit. So yeah. This is the good thing about showing people the around the map. I mean, when I'm playing, I don't pay that much attention. I just test triggers and everything, but that's off the ground, so. So, uh, yeah, so at the shop, you've got a workshop inside a shed where you can sell, customize at the shop. And so, yeah, the thing there, got a couple points there, got the thing there. You've also got a diesel tank at the shop. Take a quick drive around the uh, cell point here. Now uh, this one is Orchard. I haven't sorted out the name places yet. This one's Orchard Farm Store, um, Grain Store. Taken inspiration from a place near me in uh, Locking Gate, just outside of Bodmin, near Bodmin, kind of, where they got a big. Uh, they ain't got a drive-through shed, but they got big silos and everything where they the farmers sell their grain to them, and then it gets taken off for some reason, whatever. They drop through and just you know, very course play friendly, but like I say, the roads aren't that course play friendly. We bump around these parts. So, uh, start off with a range of fields there. I might even take away a couple of those fields. And. Uh. Damn, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, take away a couple of them fields and I'm going to redo the field definitions on a lot of the ploughed fields so we've got missions on the map, as I haven't put them in yet. So no, nothing, no missions in this yet. But, no will be. Uh, might work on the edges of the map, got traffic on the map. On the, uh, where the road goes. Just to make it like on Dusty Cove where I made it go around the corner and that. Just so it doesn't look like, well, like that. Field entrance there. Front loader. Uh, it come with a case. Did it come with a case pack? Ah, it was a far to unzip and then there was, I didn't even realise there was a loader pack with it. Yeah, and I like it. You've got uh, two versions of it. I'll show you quickly. Uh, yeah, it was. It did come with the, with a case. I'm not sure which case. I think it's off of Mod Hub. Uh, you got the 4.1. That's like a shorter one. And the 7.3. I like the 7.3 because using the 7.24. I can stack barrels quite high. You've got your water plane in there. Down the bottom of the map, there's a pond down there. 
I'm gonna drive right through the middle of me, show you, show you as much of the map as I can. This isn't a, uh, a let's play as of yet. This is just a, uh, and C5 must end there. Not very good, thanks, sir. Not too bad. Finished uh, my only one of two days of work this week. I just day off. I've got tomorrow and Thursday off, then I'm back on Friday for a day, and then I've got the weekend, so. I'm taking it easy this week. Which is pretty good. I plan on streaming midday, Wednesday, Thursday. Hell, even if the missus goes out, I might even be able to crack some into the evening. Like I said before, like my uh, setup's in the front, well, the living room, so... When people are home, it makes it hard, especially when my little girl's there, screaming, showing. Doesn't make for good watching. <laughs> so this is the lake. Bottom corner of the map. No, it was just on its own. Results day, uh oh. Well, years since I had a results day. Twelve years in fact. Oh. No, you're making me feel old now. For now I'll connect the river into it, just to make that better like, more, like, more realistic. Yeah, that's your biggest maze for the now. It's actually three weeks today until my birthday, so count down the days. We <laughs> Oh never, yeah. I wish. So I've added some signs. From what I can figure out, the map isn't based anywhere near these places but I just kind of took these places I typed in on Google Orchard Farm come up with a campsite I took the area and made up some signs and some random mileage and hey there you go this this is the PC version I'm currently playing on I haven't got seasons in it yet but it will have seasons and my job I'm a bin man I work on a dust cart hence you know Dusty Dave there you go that's how the name come about so we'll go around the roundabout. I'm going to take it to show the beans in there. Bit of advertising for myself. I did YouTube as my last one. Do myself on this one. Then yeah, another BGA. Uh, standard FS17 looking. That's your. Uh, uh, How to make songs? I can at some point. I will do a tutorial. Ooh. Plants through the wall. Alright, that's gonna go. So you got four. Four big pets. Yeah, no worries, Sam. I'll make a tutorial on how I do it anyway. At some point. Might probably do it in the next couple of days. Uh, there's nothing down there. Apart from the entrance to Field 31, that's where the entrance to that is. Yeah, a couple more signs around the last sign. I had to make up my own, I couldn't find one, so I had to make up my own. Let me get the camera, yeah. And we reach. A little faster, seven place. Oh, that's your wood chips. So there, and your logs get sold there. Nothing to look at. Oh yeah, it is really easy. Hell, 16 watching, 16 likes. Whoa! I do feel privileged. Hello, Mr. L. How are things with you? And now I've got an actual proper. Village signs. Welcome to the village of Orchard. Doesn't sound quite right, but I was struggling to think of a name for the village that's like where I put the sign names and everything. We spawn there could do a tweaking. So 
Glastonbury, 10 mile that way. Um, that's your placeables area. So it's not that big, but big enough. I've got greenhouses and all that in there to test the size. You can get plenty of it. I'm very good, thank you, Mr. Earl. No, I think I'm going to stick with Orchard for now. Orchard Farm, near the village of Orchard. That makes sense. Do you know, I like this uh, field entrance here. That I put in. Because this originally wasn't even like on the original map. It isn't here. So I pushed the boundary back. And yeah, made food. And I thought, yeah, why not? Do a little... Uh, muddy entrance into there. This map won't have mud mod. Mud mod's starting to do my head in a little bit, so I haven't included it into this. This is your annual cell point. Or buy point, cell point. Yeah, one of the above. Standard uh, gold crest building. I don't think it matters too much what the, what the markets look like, like, uh, like maybe, maybe that's me just being lazy. It's a common opinion. Anyway, uh... Attention. So now we shall uh, head up through the middle of the village. Now I did have the American style houses in here. Just because the lights come on at night time. Let's put it there. Just because the lights came on. And, uh, I thought it looked good at night time. But they didn't look very British. Not British at all. So, I added the ones I used in Dusty Cove. Which I actually took off of uh one question baby things. And we got things a way. How about that? Oh my goodness where that one. But yeah, I'll put things around like lights and everything. You can pick up. Throw through houses apparently. Even with collisions on. But I am working on these exact houses with fully functioning lights, so I am working on that as a little side project, maybe get it in time to uh, before release. We've got street lights here anyway. Uh, petrol station, petrol station uh, actually has uh, working lights in it, so at night time lights actually uh, light up over there. Another XL point at the uh, pub. And your second XL point at the back of the pub. Park up for him. Yeah, you got a car park in here. Look a bit more realistic, but you know, these little islands in. Probably the thing I'm best at making on maps is car parks. Not good when it comes to farms, then. But hey ho. Uh, that way there goes up around. Different way to the crossroads. Soon. I'm sure you'll get there one day. Now says, just take your time, learn as you go, and you get there. You've got the riding stables that way. The farm is also that way. Yes, that dictates that. But I want to show you a uh, show you a little yard I stuck in at the top.
probably my favourite field to work in. This one. There's been a big uh, fluctuation of wind turbines around me. And we've actually got like on the just literally on the border of the, of my vent and wind map. In real life, there is two brand new ones of these put in. And these are kind of become a common feature on my maps now. But I've done it like it's, you know, got a van there, like somebody's up there ready to service it and whatever, a little track going out there. Just a different border to the map rather than just trees. Newer versions don't work quite well. Uh, no, I don't really. I've never had any issues. Don't really know. Maybe it feels a bit bumpy over it. I don't really uh, know what to say. Maybe have a look around on uh, Giants forums and that. We're going this tight little lane coming down to it. Oof. Everything much farmer. Now have I saw that. Yes. If you're standing in the wrong place there, you can open both gates at the same time. So this is just a little uh, storage yard. And you've got the arable farm just over there. Stables just there. Store. A few mowers up here, but still some grain in there. Though. Yeah, I'll definitely say have a look around on the forums and all that. Should be the back. Uh, I can't link it right now. Maybe somebody in the chat can put a link in. Come on, gonna look. Let's go. We'll start off with that field of SR there. Double gate entrance. And now we start heading over this way. So I did widen the entrances and all that here compared to the original map. Yeah, there is a uh, help page link actually. If you go into well, the top of GE, there's a help button there, I think. Just follow it through there, I think. So uh, yeah, anyway, I widened the lanes. A little bit, so you can get bigger up and move through. Now, for many of you that have seen previous pictures or anything like that, you know this here, and a gap about that big. Drive in, you have a stable on this side, stable on that side, and that was it. You know, the horses. And that was it in here. And that was your stables. And it really bothered me how plain and unrealistic it looked. Growing up on horses for well, years of my life, then you know you kind of uh, you know, really be like that. So uh, yeah, this is the new look orchard stables. I'm put a couple of pictures up. The actual profile picture for orchard farm is that for you now. Look, so now we've got a nice little lane that winds in around. So we've got nice animated horses in there. Oh, the brown one's moved. Oh. I was there watching that brown one for a good five minutes the other day and did it move? So you got the grey one that runs out around the field and then the brown one, like, there's a dirt, I put a little dirt bit in there. So there's like the uh, horses like, go to and fro up and down the fence. And look, dirt tracks is the right size. 
Oh, and that's a point. Uh, update for Dusty Cove has been declined by Giants. There's a couple of things, nothing major. Just I gotta put a few things in the description. Uh, change the picture, for the, like, the icon picture and that. Nothing major, so by the end of this week, I'll resubmit. Resubmit that. And you should all have an update for Dusty Cove, hopefully. I don't know. Come in, you can go in that field if you really must. And your trigger is right here. Literally, this this is the trigger. Stables here. Okay. And sounds good. You know, it's riding stables. You know, they normally have a. Uh, mm, the cat just fell out the window. That's good. Uh, they normally have a. Uh, jumps, you know, for show jumping training, that kind of thing, dressage. It shouldn't require a new uh, save game. Everything I've done in it is just triggers and you know, collisions, stuff that doesn't affect it. I have widened the dirt tracks in there, now I don't think that affects saves games, but I never had a save game to try and do anyway. Oh no, the, cat, the cat's fine. Who's always jumping in and out, I wonder. So anyway, that's the new, uh, the new looking stables. Which I really like. Are you farming, man? And now we reach the crossway. See that road from the other way comes up beyond the church, up to there. I'll go and check out the forest around. Right? I've taken away a lot of the uh, hedges in places and put the barbed wire fence in just because it feels like it opens the map up a bit more. You know, Ross, the original creator, he's, he had this on his multiplayer server. So like, one thing that bothered him was the amount of trees that I had put in on top of what was already there. For me, I like close feeding maps, but you know, a lot of people like open feeding maps, so you know, I've taken out a lot of the trees and done what I wanted to do. Really So I'll put these in from the prefab on the uh, mod hub. So this really looks yeah, some holders. You can put your wood chips in there. I've got painted uh, collisions on the floor there. So this is more of a plantation. It's not a proper forest. This is more of a plantation. I tried to spice up a little bit. Put grass here and there. But it, like, you see all the trees like in lines. It's more of a plantation than anything else. 190 hours in Dusty Cove. Jesus. Well, thank you very much for playing my map for that long. That is good. So yeah, that's the forest area. Nothing special for the trees. Hey, hey Chris. How we know? Sixteen people watching. So, carry on this way. I'm putting another little barn in this contract as well. Uh, some of your starting equipment. Wow. Uh, I think there's a cedar over there as well. Yeah, this is just like. Storage slash contractors, you know, if you put it out. No, it won't be hard to run, it's just because it's streaming at the same time. No, I haven't got the best of, uh, what they call processors. You know, for streaming and playing the game. Plus, we were being summer holidays, a lot more kids are using the internet around here. My speed was down a little bit from what it normally is. I normally got really, really good upload.
Oh, I've added them in the shed if you want to. Have some bags. You can even use that as a placeable area if you really want to. Water point down there. Margin. Put the grass field there. I will say, watch when you go in that field. I'll put a ditch on the side there. If you go through too fast, it will uh, chuck you about a little bit. Yeah. Not every farmer has smooth gateways. And uh, there we get. There's the uh, solar farm. I put in. And there's quite a few of these around where I I live now. A hell of a lot of them. Uh, Fent mod. Uh, I got that one from the mod hub, the 700 series. Then when I got these off of the mod hub, it was all in German, so I redid it so it was in English. Got another grass field back there. That's one of your starting fields. I always keep this as a starting field. And crop textures don't look too bad. This is uh, the same grass from uh, Downland. Is that the map from the contest? It isn't it? And I tweaked the colours a little bit just so it wasn't quite so dark. I just lightened it up a little bit. Yeah, I like that in that little feature on the solar farm. It was always just a little corner of the map which was really much good. So I filled up with solar panels. You don't earn anything off it, it's purely just for show. You can no longer cut through this gateway across there. I have taken away the gateway over there due to the fact that the pigs are over there now. Everyone wants to see the cow farms and we'll just uh, we'll come back to that. We've got some pretty big grass fields up around this area, perfect for silage. Uh, I know Chris is absolutely uh, you know, he, he, Chris can't wait to do silage hauling on this map. I know, I know that much. Now, this thing needs to carry on straight up. I thought, well, it wasn't really much point, it wasn't really going anywhere, so I ran it down to there. And go straight into the sheep farm. I might work on maybe a different entrance. I might make it so the road actually has a bend towards this way rather than just straight on and end. So there are a couple of little bits that need to be given and everything but I've given myself the deadline of two weeks time so little bits here and there will change. So that's the uh, sheep area. There's water trough there. Off there. Uh, plenty of storage for your bales. Uh, when you're using uh, seasons, you know, snow mask and everything. Yeah, so you can put your bales in there without them rotting and stuff. Uh, although I don't think you can put loose grass in seasons and just store it somewhere like that. That does still rot. No, that's my understanding anyway. Your uh, pallet spawn places in there. So your feed trough there. Your unload point there. Buy whack of them in a minute. <coughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, wandering around. No worries, that's how I spend most of my days. Partly in stream, partly in GE. Oak tree. Which oak tree? Hey, Game of Dragon. How was that?
Are you on about this one? This oak tree. Plenty of oak trees. And sheep field. What, this one? This is just a uh, stand one. I tweak the colours a little bit. Hey, Brad. Where did I put the trader? So, uh, yeah, those are just standard. I'll just tweak the colours a little bit, and that's all I've done to them. Not like uh, Austin David's done on his oak field. It's oak field? I think that's what it's called. That one there is built uh, from the fire. I did still have FS floating trees in this for a bit. Still reckon they look better, but it's a shame they don't work with seasons. So, uh, yeah, so he's created his own uh, oak tree for that map. And he's created, like, made the trunks bigger. Added more density and everything, more branches and, it, and all that, and it just looks absolutely insane. It really does. You know, that's just a tree for his map. I mean, if you've seen the well, Sunday, I was lucky enough for him to give me a guided tour on his newest map, Oakfield, and uh, wow. You know, that, that bloke there, he, he's definitely got to be the best mapper for the game. He well and truly has. There, we're at Orchard Dairy. These signs, I've got new signs to go in here. These signs will be uh, changed out. I <laughs> thought it was Austin David's tree. Nah, he won't let me. Uh, he shows me all this stuff. You know, like what he's created in Blender. You know, I get to see a lot of it before other people have seen it, like publicly. But I, I don't have access to it. Don't blame him, you know. He's created a new house with new light and stuff like that. I put it in my map, quickly release it before him. People have got it before, you know. They say, oh, you've got what Dusty's got, but really he made it. Is he going into the wall? No, so, pig farm. In the entrance to the dairy farm. No, oh, not yet, Dave. Not yet. It's a shame you're busy with Upton, you know, you could have broken the hell out of this map. Uh, I'm thinking about changing out some of the wall textures in here as well. You know, this old concrete one looks a bit dated now. You know, it is time for a, for a fresh new look to FS17, you know. It would bring them through old maps. It's time to uh, refresh it a bit. Maybe the same buildings, but just retexture them, make them look better, add new you know, diffusers and that to them. Now, I didn't realise this did this until I was here the other day. I was like, what the hell is that flooded noise? And there's the electric fence I put in. Breeze block wall. Yeah, it could do. Could well do. My Willow Tree farm map, I redid the uh, concrete textures into that kind of thing. Ooh, cheers and a cup of coffee. Yeah, somebody go make me a cup of coffee, will they? I drank mine. Made it for the stream, drank it before the stream. So you've actually got the FUD in that, like, and I put an electric fence in around because pigs are notorious for getting out of places. Put a bit of, uh, this map is, uh, is, uh, is that chopped straw already. So, uh, I need chopped straw. Synchronized pigs there. Very realistic. So there we go. Pigs out. Way. <laughs> I know it's a bit muddy over here, but did anyone else see that pig disappear? I want another pig to come along this way now. Dusty Dave and he 
magically disappearing pigs. <laughs> Rainbow Dave joins and within 30 seconds of that happening it the my map starts breaking you know GG indeed oh, that was very impressive I'll have to find that pig later on I think Probably heard he's going to go for bacon, so that's... Yeah, you thought, nah, I'm out of here. Hey, just a little storage yard here. I swapped out the old barns. I got one. Remember there. There's two here. I took them away. <laughs> yeah, you're that good at testing, Dave. You don't even have to play the map to break it. I like it. I like it a lot. I've got to get rid of that. There is no lights here. There was going to be, but there's only going to be an external light. This is the other one I was on about at the beginning of the stream. I think I might leave this one in because it, you know, it is like a drive through No, I don't think electric fence would stop it. Then I'm an electric fence and stuff like that. You know, little details like that make a map look a little bit better. Clutter in this yard. A storage yard there. Storage barn. And uh, seeds there. A barn there. That's where your 300 is when you start off. More storage there. Plenty of barns in this thing. I probably put too many barns in. Hydrant. Go through into the dairy farm. So you may recognise this from Dusty Cove. Technically, I built this one first, and then took this one from here and put it on Dusty Cove and retached it for Dusty Cove. So this this is the original big cow barn, custom trough. So when you feed, that's where the grass will appear. Thought it was better than just using another standard trough. Yeah, they're filled out the back here. A few little muddy tracks going off here, there, everywhere. Another feed point, brushes, milk machine, another feed point. Hang on a minute. How have I got so many feed points? Eh, it, it hasn't brought up no errors about that, so it must work fine. Two silage bits. Now these two silage pits here, are these these two pits are the cause of a couple of errors. Same problem as what was on uh, Pember. The node is unreadable, or something or other. Those pits work fine, absolutely fine. But for some reason it causes, a few text flashes in, it causes problems in the log. And it just agitates me a bit. I don't know what I to say. The muck appears there, down this strip, so you can muck the cows out. And this is where you can store it. This is the slow bit right here, the two tanks. It was pointed out to me by Mark DuPont as he went past, if I raise. That they're filled up, even though I haven't got them in. That's just a static plane. There is no. That, that bit that moves when you get slurry, that's under the ground. That's out of the way. You don't have to worry about that. A little bit on there. And that's your water trough there. Bit of old machinery around. Some milk churns. Now you can't actually sell the milk on the map. I know there's a mod out there somewhere for it. But, you know, dairy farm. You know, I'll well add that in. Yeah. This was also an original idea I moved on the Dusty Cove as well. And I think that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to really show. Show on in. Put in the field there. Made a decent track out this way. 
we start off with that field as well, see if we actually got some uh, straw. Thank you. Picks, cows down. and go into this field here. And thank you very much. All your farmers are like the first first farm sim map that I probably put some hours into. But it's quite close to me this map really in the sense that we're these fields here I plan on putting missions into so uh, as you may have seen then the, field, the hedges do not have collisions I can't remember whether I changed it to uh, the bale ones that Bullet Bill users, I can't remember whether I did that. They may not have any collisions at all, but it's a flat map. So, well, you've got little bumps. Yeah, you can see that goes up. But if you know how to use a round baler on a hill, you should be fine. Uh, park out there at the minute. I'll show you the uh, cut grass texture. Got to think about wide tires on traders. Love it. Absolutely love it. They do have bail collisions. I did put that in then. Yeah. Cheers, Dave. I couldn't remember whether I did or not. Uh, we'll just get these. I'll just show off the uh, grass texture. The wider the better. Yeah, I do like uh, you know, big flotation tires and all that. To a, to a point where it gets stupid wide. Well, at least I know that works. Well, apparently I can cut that. Hey, hey Tony. How was your day today? Did I sort out? Ah. See, this is where testing comes in handy. I, uh, I don't think I got rid of some of the uh, collision paint from the base map I was using for the PC version. So there could be collisions in fields like that. Uh, that shouldn't be there. So just ignore that for, for right now. Yeah, that is a problem when it comes to winter time. It's such a shame though, because, you know, when a field is mown, it's, it's not, uh, you know, green is the same colour as the top. Yeah, the tip coals are completely thrown out on this. I forgot, I forgot to remove it from certain areas. As you can see. 
There, this, when you when you it's summertime and all that, looks brilliant. And uh, they say in seasons that just looks wrong that time of the year. You know, you're looking out across a field in winter time and it looks like it's been mowed. So yeah, that's a fair point. You know, especially in seasons, seasons is what it is. A lot of people, me technically, I've kind of got a little bit. I wouldn't say bored of it, just it, it, it's a little bit tedious. A safe game I have got going. No, I use in my spare time and all that. Yeah, good job you brought that up really. I did think about it ages ago and then I, it just slipped my memory. So yeah, that, that is a very good point. A very, very good point. Well, I've shown you guys pretty much everything I can in the map. I don't think I've missed anything. Should have just activated the console to do this. Yeah, so the grass texture may change. Or I put out two versions. Versions like this, which isn't seasons ready, and then a version that is seasons ready with a different grass texture in it. Could go around that way. But anyway, this is the map. Uh, is that. A couple of little bits, like move that mountain down over there. So that little bit out. You know, there, there is still bits to do. But on the whole, this map is like 99% done. It's just little tweaks here, there, and that is that. So uh, been going for nearly an hour. My first stream in like over a month. There will be streams over the next couple of days in the day. So if you're not doing anything during the day, then keep your eyes peeled in YouTube. Or activate your notifications for me. That'd be even better. And, uh... You will be seeing maybe a little bit of farm work on this, just to show off a little bit more. But chances are, most of the streams, over the next two days, because I'll probably do like two in a day, but I'll break it up throughout the day. And they will be GE working on Fenton Win which was the next map I really wanted to do, uh, as Rainbow David said. You know, get my converts out of the way and then bring out Horn and Tops, which is a brand new map. So there's another one. I might even do, you know, an hour stream showing you around Horn and Tops so far. But, uh... Oh, I hate it when it does that. Quit a save game when it does that. So, uh... Yeah, so you might see Summer Horning Tops, which is that one there. You know, I still got 16 people watching, you know. Okay, well, we'll just do this. Uh, let's put Creator Tools in. So, then, I'm not going anywhere yet, Matt. I changed my mind. We're now going to go and have a look around Horn and Tops. We'll cover this now whilst them actually can be bothered to stream. And OBS has gone wrong. Okay, so maybe we're not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're not going to go, go and do that. So, Alright, so t tomorrow. Tomorrow. Sorry, I'm throwing you guys all around the place right now. Tomorrow we'll look at Horn and Tops. It's back, it's probably gone again now. Tomorrow we'll look at Horn and Tops during a stream. And there'll be GE videos of uh Vent and Win Estate being made. I've already done one, worked on a bit of the map. There will be plenty more. Yeah, the Rainbow Dave Curse strikes again. <laughs> made me OBS go funny. So uh thank you guys for watching me. Thank you for any of the likes. Sorry to mess you around that little bit on the end. But yeah.
join me tomorrow for another stream. Cheers for now.